budget trading is really really adventurous it's very high adrenaline it's good but you got to have your rules with you what to do what with the idea is very simple that get them in the onto the wrong foot and then immediately do opposite that is how wars are also fought if you have interest in history what you will find is that the best way to win a war is that show something else and then immediately start to do something else that is called gorilla technique hi everybody welcome to another very special topic i've got for you we have a pretty big event in front of us the budget how to trade budgets we're going to discuss about it i'm going to give you the three step plan to trade this budget what do i think about it and most importantly what are the learnings from previous budget they do traders exactly get trapped what to do before the budget what to do after the budget you going to have 100% clarity about trading big events we are going into the big event make sure that you are 100% ready because these are the make or break events one small mistake which go unnoticed during normal times can have a serious dent in your trading account if you do it wrong so a lot of learning let's start and understand it makes you money that's what this channel is all about budget expectation in terms of option trading not going to discuss what are the budget expectations about different sectors etc that information you can find it over other 1000 channels here we're going to talk about option trading and option trading alone because maximum option traders fund managers professional option traders or passive income option trading people they watch these videos so let's understand i want to show you something very interesting so what do you see on the screen is a january option chain this is what you see now we obviously don't know where market is going to go after the budget before the budget uh, in my opinion guessing a direction is not a smart way to trade markets why do we trade options we trade options because we really don't know where the market is going to be yet we want to make money on consistent basis so there are certain things which has pretty high expectations in the market to happen in terms of options now what you see over here these are the ivs ivs of around at the money call what you see is around at the money slightly otm the ivs are around 11.5 this is what you see in january and when you see in february what you will see the iv is going to be slightly different this is an option chain for february monthly contracts what do we see is one big starting difference and that is the put ivs are really high can you see the call iv versus the put call iv is around 11.25 11.3 wherein the puts are around 14 so significant amount of difference now this is telling you one thing for sure that just before one month the main event budget market has given a phenomenal rally a lot of people a lot of investors they are sitting on pretty good solid profits and they are expecting some kind of profit booking in the market that's what it tells us but that's not a area of concern the area of concern where you should focus on is iv alone is around 11.35 normally just before the event iv likely to go up cause when iv go up option pricing obviously will have certain amount of impact that is thing which we can say with a lot of certainty this is what is going to happen now as option players how do we take advantage of this particular point like i say we don't need to see where market is going to go we don't want to play that game we want to play a winning game in which the probability is in our favor so let's see what what is the plan to tackle this how to use this information to our benefit which are top strategies to play pre budget we're going to talk about couple of strategies now a lot of people completely stay away from long straddle right you think that this strategy is bound to give you losses it's because when you trade long straddle at the wrong time then it's likely to make a lot of mistakes but when you trade long straddle just before the budget just before the event and you have a plan to exit it just few days before the budget this strategy is likely to make a lot of money because this strategy take advantage of iv rise second strategy is calendar now when i talk about calendar a lot of people do different type of sort of kung fu karate calendar right double diagonal ratio calendar or diagonal spreads right so a lot of things but in my opinion calendar spreads normal simple monthly calendar spread is the best way to take advantage when iv shoots up we don't need to make it complicated unnecessarily 
The plan is very simple that we put in the trade before the budget when IV starts to rise and we execute it. And just before the announcement of budget, we look to exit it. This is not the strategy which we would definitely want to keep after the budget because we want to take advantage of rising IV. IV rises because people are paying game of uncertainty people are playing game of directions they're going to be a lot of position built up just before the main super heavy event so for option traders this is a perfect way now a lot of people believe in option selling blindly let me tell you one thing when iv is rising and we are approaching towards the budget this is the worst time when anyone can sell options the data is telling us something we got to stick by it we got to stick by the rules the rule is very simple that we want to make money regardless of where market is heading when to exit is very important let me repeat that again just before the announcement just before maybe a day or two days prior that's the best way if you are playing the game of iv then you can definitely look to exit it now let's talk about three step plan to trade budget so what are the what is the plan how do we execute it let's see number one lessons from previous budget i've got something really interesting for you let's see what do i have and like i've mentioned in my previous videos as well is that what we learn from history is that people never learn from history so let's see what history is telling us what exactly happened and what is our research telling us now here we go this was the last budget what do you see is that budget obviously was pretty volatile there is a very important learning hidden in this now what do we see we see that it was a big pretty volatile day which is bound to happen because ultimately it's a big event in a year now what do we see after that markets start to go up a little bit little, little bit of bullish bias in the market now after the budget wherever market goes let me tell you the mass psychology is that they look to trade in that particular direction and market insiders market makers use this psychology to trap people who are not experienced in the market it's your job to make sure that you are on the right side of the market and how do you know that you can see it on the screen very well so what do you see is that market has gone slightly up and after that immediately after a week 10 days there was a massive bear attack in fact the bear attack was so brutal that market from 18000 came down to the levels of around 16800 can you imagine the amount of fall which we had is completely crazy now what happens normally in budget day now this is your homework you make sure that you note this point really well now just after the budget a lot of media channels a lot of publications about stock market they really inflate a little positive news to a big grand news right but they hide you know all these negative points under the carpet now this is done deliberately so that people take bullish position into the market if they want to trap it on them on the bull side this is how market is played it's not fair i understand that because nobody talks about this i do realize it now let's see what happened prior to that very good learning again now let's see what happens because a picture speak a thousand words what do we see we see something very familiar happening what do we see there's a budget again after the budget market went up it was a gap up big gap up as you can see here so it's telling us that okay the gap up has happened people are taking positions left right and center market is gonna go to the moon but exactly what happened after a few days it was again a trap and it was trapped like no other market from 17,800 came down to 15,600 do you learn something very important now what do you learn you learn that events movement just after the event movement that is not to be really believed how do you trade it can you trade looking at the open interest can you trade this by some other methods which i shared in my video so basically the idea is very simple that get them in the, onto the wrong foot and then immediately do opposite that is how wars are also fought if you have interest in history what you will find is that the best way to win a war is that show something else and then immediately start to do something else that is called gorilla technique what do you see again the same thing happening right now they, they showed that bulls are in control and suddenly snap of a finger what do you see something else is happening so that's why I really play a lot of emphasis on not to play direction right that's why we trade options because we really don't want to play the game of guessing where the market is gonna go and i have some more important points which you must know before entering into the budget and there are better ways to trade the markets if you want to get really top shelf 
premium strategies. All you got to do is simply WhatsApp on the WhatsApp number flashing on the screen and get the best of the best techniques, which is available. How do we adjust it? How do we put in the trade? What is the logic behind it? You can learn all of it. Now let's see what else do we have in store. Very, very interesting. Number two is my view on naked option selling and firefighting with the markets. It's very important. Now see, first of all, option selling should be done just just before the budget why because uh, simply iv inflates right people guess the directions doesn't matter how much i tell them majority will always guess where the market is gonna go okay that's how the majority plays that's okay before the budget iv go up it inflates and right after the budget or during the budget iv deflates we have to take advantage of this particular point. Now, a lot of certainty, if you look at the past, we'll see that this thing has been playing out again and again and again, because people speculate. Now, to capture the deflation of IV, what people do normally is they sell options, right? Which is fine because it makes a lot of sense. But the most crucial part of option selling is hedging. When you're selling something and you're not buying something behind it, that means you are going completely naked into the position. The number one problem by doing this is that number one, you are paying a very high amount of margin. So that is not good. Number two, like I've showed you in the chart as well, when bears come trapping or they can be a bull trap, who knows when market traps people. Now what they do is they do Delta adjustments, right? That is very, very popular. Suppose if market is going put side, they will keep selling calls and they bring the call closer, 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 strangle into straddle, straddle into short gut. That's what they do. This is really, really deadly thing. There is nothing more worse which you can do with your trading account. So, so definitely say no to that. If you have to sell, now what do I think is the best way to do it? We'll see IVs when we reach budget, but what it looks like from the history is that we look forward to sell, not weekly. No, not at all. Weekly, anyway, is gonna have tiny range. We are going to sell monthly, most likely February monthly contracts and immediately buy options weekly options which is next week options slightly more far off so that way we can hedge our position that can be a smart thing to do when we are uh, trading naked options now right way to exit from sold positions is also important not just profits but when trade is getting challenged as soon as we get challenged on the trade we need to have a plan b absolutely ready if it's adjustments it's good if it's booking partial profit or partial loss that is also good or another kind of you want to shift one strategy to another strategy that is also good or rolling on to option so there are a lot of things which an option which a person can do when you trade with sold legs but it's most important to have some kind of plan b and plan c plan c is completely 100 percent total exit so you make sure that you put in that, okay, I want to make around 5% ROI or 2% ROI, but under any situation, I'm not going to be hopeful about the position. If it's going against me, I will cut it ruthlessly. If it's 3% your benchmark or five or six, whatever it is, I'm not going to pay anything more than what is the worst position, which I've thought to myself in the trade. Very, very effective way to trade. Budget trading is really, really adventurous. It's very high adrenaline. It's good, but you got to have your rules with you. What to do, what not to do. Most importantly, what other traders are doing and how you can really gauge what's happening in the market and take that information working in your favor. What happened in the past? How do we learn from the past and make sure that we are replicating all the good points to do it? So we take advantage of all the good practices. Budget trading really adds a really good value in your experience when you trade into the options. Really nicely, keep your volumes really low. If you have to trade it and if you're completely new, please do not go heavy. It's gonna be great learning because just learning by theory is different. But when you have practical experience, nothing comes even more close to it. So why hit and trial is for less smart people. Like I say, you got to elevate your trading game. You can learn the craft in record time. You can contact on this number to get superior strategies. WhatsApp one touch link is in the comment section. All you got to do is just touch the first link in the comment section and immediately WhatsApp will open and you can get in touch and you can get all details about premium strategies, how you can learn it, what are the strategies, how do we do it, everything systematically, you can take your trading level up really fast. So that's it guys. I wish you have a great, great month. This budget, you make sure that you are on the right side of the market. Our job as trader is just to do the right things in the market and then let market reward us. Lot of people focus on profits only. That is not a right way to look at things. 
look at losses. If you just contain your losses and if you are a risk averse trader, it's very difficult to let profits be away from you, right? It will come chasing you when you stop chasing profit. Chase trade management, chase doing the right things at the right time and let good things happen to you. That's it guys. I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching. And like I always say, you're gonna do so well in trading, you will surprise everyone. I wish you all the best. Bye.